Hello there. Thanks for joining us. My name is Dean Jones. I'm here at TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We've got a really special video today for you. We've got a, a new builder product that we just took on. Um, TransWest is known for having real quality lineup and we feel like this is another winner. It's 27 North. Uh, they make vans, they make these uh, expedition trucks. This is called a Rex Rover. Uh, very, very nice rig. We're gonna get right into it, but uh, uh, a little bit about 27 North real quick. We've got, uh, they're from Missouri. Um, 27 North is actually the latitude for, for Everest, Mount Everest, so they're pretty committed to the outdoors kind of lifestyle. So as you'll see, but we'll just get and get started. This particular one's the only one in the wild built on a 350 Ford Lariat crew cab. Very nice truck. A lot of you are familiar with how the heavy duty Fords are. I'm gonna kind of point this out. We have a really neat pass through here. I'll give you a shot of that. One thing to note, those seats, they do fold up, they fold down both sides. You can take them out, you can make it all storage back there if you want and have better access to that pass-through. You got leather-loaded lariat package. You do have, you know, the heated seats in the back, the cooled and heated seats in the front, just all the creature comforts you'd ever want in a truck. Rides real nice. It's got a 6.7 power stroke. Five, 475 horsepower and a 10-speed torque shift transmission in this guy, which is gonna offer you 10,050 foot-pounds of torque. What you see here is the coating on this guy. It's, it's much like a Rhino liner in that it's got that texture. It's gonna take scratches on real well, but it's not the rubber plastic stuff that you're used to. This is actually made out of Kevlar. And why they do that is to make it tough, but it's also really light. If they were to Rhino line this whole rig, it would have been about 300 plus pounds. This whole coating, stem to stern, is only 115 pounds. It's kind of amazing. As you come around here, you'll know it's outfitted with a trail-ready steel bumper. You do have fog lights and extra lights there. I'll actually turn those on for you real quick. Plenty of light if you're going boondocking, go back in the sticks. We have a nice 12,500 pound worn winch. A nice access to that winch if you need to get in there. Does have adaptive cruise. It's got 360 camera all the way around. It's also got an interior camera. It's outfitted just really, really nice. You got nice, big, beefy recovery hooks on this rig. And as you come around, you're gonna see it's outfitted with uh, Falcon Wild Peak ATs. The size on these guys are 35, 12 and a half R16s, or R18s, I'm sorry. Got locking lugs in there. One thing I did wanna point out, you get under here, you see it's got an Icon adjustable shock suspension coilover. Now why you would wanna have that, if you're on the highway, you can actually Turn this, stiffen it up for highway driving. If you want to go back and you're back in Moab or something, you need a little bit softer travel in the shock itself, you just turn this. It's a great suspension component. Up here, we've got a nice six-way power adjustable seats on both sides. They were a nice design feature with the embroidered seats on there. I'm not going to get too far into the truck because they're pretty pretty common rigs out there on the street, but you do have the big screen with all your apps. It's Apple CarPlay and Android Ready, Android Auto Ready. Got a nice little keypad in here, so key this entry. One thing I'm gonna start on this, on this coach part, it's a one piece cast carbon Kevlar body. There's no seams on it. I'll actually or cut to a, a roof section, and you're gonna see that it's got 600 watts of nice solar up there, a nice 12 volt Dometic AC. It's an STX 2000, I believe. 
and there's just no penetrate any any seams anywhere. Those body lines up there, they're not seams, they're actually just body lines. So one piece all the way throughout. You're gonna have to check, you know, your intrusions going in and out, there's some seals on that, but you're not gonna have to do the seal between the, the wall and the top because it's all one piece. It's just an incredible build. So we'll get into the coach part. One thing I will point out, these are polycarbon dual pane windows. They are tinted, but they're really light. They're really durable and they're really efficient. They louver out, I'll show you the one in the back. They've got nice screens in there, louvered pleated, uh, pleated shades in there. But they're just great windows. We're kind of seeing that more and more on the premium stuff that we see coming through here. Right here, we're gonna have our, our fresh water fill. That's 55 gallons of fresh water. And I'll show you where that is in the back there. But it's a locking cap. This is where you'd unlock it and fill your, fill your water. And we got our shore power here. If you notice, this is a little different shore power connection. Real big contacts. It does lock on here. I'll actually show you what that looks like. It's called the smart plug. It's got that big locking. It's got a little cap on it, but. It's also not gonna fray on you. It's just a real beefy cord. One thing 27 North does is they go to the extremes when they build their stuff. I'll get into that just a little bit. That's the cord. And that's where it goes. And it is locking. Coming back here, we have kind of our wet bay. We do have a manifold here. It's great for winterization. This is a cartridge cassette toilet. We see a lot of these on our V-Vans, on our Revels, but it's a great system. You can dump it anywhere. You don't need a, a dump station to empty this. Any toilet will work. And you could roll it to wherever you're going. It's a nice theft for thing. It's a proven system and it's a really good system. Now, if you get in here, you're gonna see all the outlets throughout the whole coach are kind of a universal global plug. You can put a European plug in there, an American plug. You can ship this over the, over the pond and still use it. It's just an incredible, I've never seen them before and I was real impressed by that. Got solid doors. They've got that adventure skin all the way throughout. Then we have our 29 gallon diesel tank here with our def. That little louver door is nice because you can get in there without the ladder being in the way. Back here, you'll see, I don't know if you can get a picture of this, but in the back here, you got that same adjustable shock in the back. I love the way they did the two-tone dark black here in the gray. This is your Truma Combi heater and water heater, and you can access that. We'll get, open this back up right here. Nice little panel to get to that if you need to check wiring or anything like that. But if you notice, all the bays are just constructed really, really nice. It's real clean. We have a, a nice beefy solar controller there and a Victron inverter, 3,000 watt. Nice little diamond plate mat in there. These just turn and lock. You can also lock them with the key. Nice big tail lights came out of the actual chassis that, that, that was built on. Back here, you got a lot going on. That's that window that louvers up, really nice. And we've got a full spare back here on the Rhino liner. And it's also in with these locking lugs. So the, all the wheels on here have a locking special socket. They use those same to, to mount this here. If you were to ever want to just get this out of the way for any reason, you've got a, a two lock system. That gets it out of the way real quick. And you can see this one swings out too. It's a nice storage box. It gets that out of the way. This one has been equipped with a really nice superstructure hitch. We'll get under there and I'll show you a few things. Nice little CNC. It's got Rex Rover label there. Just really nice system here. Nice hitch. You're gonna pull a boat. You do have your uh, six way, seven way there. Uh, one thing to notice: this is where your rear camera is. 
Usually they're way up top and you can never get up there to clean them. You can just walk out here with the little rag, clean these off and you're good to go. One thing you'll notice here too, is this big tank with a gate valve. This is that 55 gallon fresh water tank. I'm actually gonna have you come back around that side again because I have to show you. There's two gray tanks. Gives you a full uh, 30 gallons gray tank. One's off the, the lavatory and one's off the kitchen. You see there's a gate valve right there. That's one. Another one right there. So if you fill up one faster than the other, you can just empty them right there. And that's just gonna be sink and shower water. Again, your black tank's in that little Thetford cassette toilet. Closing these guys, you'll see they lock open. You do have to pop this little T up. Say you were in a hurry and you forgot to latch these little guys here, these little safety latches. It's really not gonna move because those T brackets over there. Hopefully you'll remember though. Oh, also locks open. This is a really nice storage box. You'll see it's really deep. Someone could put a nice little generator back there if they wanted. Again, they have really nice badging with the Rex Rover cut out in the metal. All this is powder coated. And this locks as well. Coming around here, I will point out you got a really nice power awning. But you'll notice that it's recessed into the body of this one piece coach. What's nice about that is this is meant to get back in, back in the woods, boondocking, places that most motorhomes won't go. They recessed it so a tree branch won't come rip off that awning. We've, all, we've seen a few of those. So that's a great design feature. I'll show you how that works in a minute. This is a lit storage. This is gonna be under one of your dinette chairs in there. Does have the LED light, so when you're getting stuff out in the night, you can kind of find what you're looking for. Nice styling on this guy again, black, gray. Coming over here, we do have outdoor entertainment. Nice little LG TV, nice little sound bar for the TV, or you can also Bluetooth into that if you wanted to listen to some music. Great little tailgater. This does actually articulate and come out. We're trying to get away from the glare. Coming on into the coach, we're gonna actually show you how the awning works. So, one button push, we'll try it out. I like to have the door shut when we do this. But again, nice recessed awning, it's got side arms. You don't have arms sticking down here. You're gonna run into as you're getting close to the coach. We do have some stands I'm gonna show you in a second. While that's opening, I measured this crew cab from bumper to the back of that box. We've got 28 or 26 and a half feet. Um, the height on this guy is 11 foot eight inches. We've got an interior height of 71, a lot of headroom in there. And the width from side to side with the mirrors in is gonna be seven foot, 10 inches. So uh, that's some stats on the actual size of this guy. But this is really easy to use. We've got nice little stance here that just kind of come up. You'll notice nice little holes in those stands if you wanna stake this down, if you're gonna be out in a little bit windier weather. And just like that, you're camping. So now we'll go on the inside. This thing is amazing inside. It really is. There's a lot of cool things going on in here. Um, it's got an air actuated step. Get it in and out of the way real nice and easy. You'll notice a lit step with the Rex Rover badging right there. You 
get a shot up there, you'll see the outside security light, some nice entry lights. One thing this is not lacking is light on the outside or the inside, actually. But we'll kind of go in and see if we can't show you what's going on in here. So one of the great things about this Rex Rover is this big giant bed up there. Uh, some say it's a king. I actually measured it at its uh, widest point both ways. It's 78 by 83 inches. I think that's bigger than a king. Just a lot of space up there. You have the louvered windows and louvered window up top. If you can actually open that up and check on your, your roof if you'd like. Clean off solar panels, if you will. Uh, over here, you'll notice that these are actually powder coated aluminum cabinets all the way throughout. Nice little locking mechanisms on them. Right here, you'll see. So you have a nice MD, MVD panel. Uh, this is going to be your lights. You can go back, you can check your house batteries, that sort of thing. Your water levels. Go back to the lights. You can turn all the lights on. Oops, I turned that off. Turn all the lights on and off at the same time or independently. You do have dimmers on this guy. Really nice panel. Let's say that were to go out for some reason. Hopefully it doesn't, but if it did, you have override, analog overrides on all those systems right there. This is the actual manager that kind of controls that panel. You do have some fuses. Here's a couple shutoffs. Then we have our 110 here, real nice industrial high dollar breakers, and then our 12 volt there. And they're all labeled real nice. If you if something's not working, you know exactly where to go to re replace a, a fuse there. Really nice design, super clean. Here's another camera that kind of plugs into the dash cam. So you can find out if someone was crawling around in back here or what have you, but nice little bird's eye view. If something's rattling around or you forgot to put something away, you could just find out from the, from the driver's seat. We do have a nice little ladder here. Kind of stows away right there real nice and easy. Nice little coat rack if you want to hang some bags or whatever there. And you just pop this on there and get in and out of that, that big huge bed anytime you like. Again, this is the back side of that pass through. Good size. As we get over here, this is one of my favorite parts about what 27 North does. I'll get you, let you get a shot of that. Their wet baths are amazing. You see, you got these little white plastic cat closets, but they actually spent some time designing this, making it nice and functional. That floor plan, before I get in there, that's designed so it will never puddle. That big long bar there is your drain, and it'll take water from any from side to side. So you're not going to get in there, even if you're at a little bit of an angle. This thing's going to drain from your shower. Coming in here, you'll see this is the Thetford cartridge toilet. Nice little sink here. I don't know. Actually, I probably should let you done that. You can see that. One thing I like what they did here. They store this little wand out of the way, but when I want to take a shower, I can put it there. I can even sit on the, the toilet and I can shower up as I like. Gets it out of the way in a really nice faucet, little undermount sink. It is a smaller unit, but so but there's a lot going on. This is a real nice functional bathroom. And you've got that louver window out here. LED lights throughout. And you got those those European or global type plugs in there. Coming out here. I don't know if you notice coming in here. But this one's got a little microwave right here. We have a three quarter ton, smaller extended cab one that has a washer and dryer here. It's an option. Uh, it's just it's a combo unit, but they, this one um, has a little different option package. So we put the microwave here and they get a bigger 12 volt refrigerator here. This is a nice Dometic 12 volt. What's neat about this refrigerator is I can get to it from here if I want to come in the door and grab something. Or if I'm sitting at the dinette, I can open it this way. Just a real slick little refrigerator. Here's some of the storage in there. Again, nice aluminum door. These aren't going to warp. Not, there's no laminate to come off if, if it gets real hot in here. But this is a nice little wardrobe cabinet. You do have a safe for your valuables. Notice that there's 
kind of accent lighting all the way around the top. Nice LED there. Coming over here, we'll show you some more of the storage. These hold themselves up real nice and they got real nice catches. So when you're going down the road, you shouldn't hear those coming in and out. They, they lock down real nice and tight. And they did a good job of finishing off the walls in here. You've got all that storage on that side. Underneath here you have nice little spot track lighting. And you'll see there's a light bar going all the way across. You can turn that on or off. Um, you've also got these guys that kind of adjust if you want to, if you're cooking something or what have you. You also got a nice little magnetic kind of bulletin board here if you want to put notes up for your, for your friends and family or whatever you want to put there. And then we also have a nice induction cooktop that just plugs right in here. So if you're going to cook, just plug that in, heat that up, you can do your cooking. You can also get it out of the way if you just want to do some prep. Stores right there real nice. Nice little drawer there. You got some manuals there. And a nice little cubby for remotes or what have you. Here's the back side of that microwave, but you do have a little bit of storage there if you'd like. And a nice deep, deep pan, pot and pan drawer. Real nice construction, solid surface, countertop, and this sink is one of the nicer sinks I've seen in an RV. Real nice dark stainless, this gets out of the way, turn it right on and off, nice little stopper. You have a little strainer in this guy, a little soap dispenser if you like. But again, nice fold, folds down real nice. Put this guy back on and you have all that counter space. Over here, we have more storage in this guy. Nice little locking latches there too. While I'm over here, oops. I'm over here, I'll show you this window system. So this is with those polycarbonate windows. They pop in and out. We've got the little shocks. And we do have a, a blackout shade, a nice little bug screen. If you want to keep those open for cross breeze, you can open the ones in the bed. All these wide open, get a lot of cross breeze here and keep the bugs out with these nice little louvered screen or pleated screens. Now what I'm sitting on is a nice little dinette. Uh, this bed just pops out with this button and it makes a 82 by 52 bed. So real long, 52 wide, but how that works. You just pop these off. I don't know if you get a shot of these little, these little, these little guys here. I'm gonna take the table out because it's kind of crowded in here, but you'll get the idea. You just put these little guys you can see that there. And you just line those up down there. And these are really hard backed pillows that sit and right across those bars and it makes that bed there. I'm told it's real comfortable. But again, you got really nice seating space here for, you know, three adults across each way. If you get a shot over here, you'll see the new the LG TV. That's on an articulating mount. You can actually pull it out this way if you want to watch it from this seat here. Really nice mount. Oh, give him a plug. And we've got a little ice truma system there. And your Victron controller to check your inverter is over in that little panel there. Here's the bottom side of the Dometic STX 2000. Really nice, efficient. Oh. Kind of not in the best spot to grab those, but here's some more storage above that side. This is equipped with three 300 amp hour lithionics lithium batteries. 
And those are climate controlled boxes. They pair it with that Vic Victron inverter. Um, it's just gonna give you all the power you need. The microwave works off of lithium. You just really don't need a generator with the way they built this unit. So uh, with that, I will, uh, I will say the next video we're gonna do is a van they have. He's, gonna, he's one of our best van guys and he's gonna show you a 170 wheelbase lifted really nice 27 north product over there it's called the venture van so stay tuned and thanks for coming out and seeing the new product that we have and uh, we'll see you next week